So for this install, we got our uh, 2019 Hobie Outback. The Hobie owner's manual uh, comes with some things you're gonna need for the fish finder install. We have the Lowrance hook tube, triple shot, five inch display. Uh, and this one in particular has the, the Navionics. For our power, uh, we're gonna be using the Nakwa uh, lithium ion battery. This is the 10 amp hour version. And uh, we'll be mounting the battery to the uh, sail mast up in the front. As far as the mounting of the fish finder, we're gonna be using the Yak Attack Hook 2 Lowrance fish finder mount. All right, so for the first step, we're gonna remove this plate and send it down the transducer scupper. to remove the Hobie Guardian system. It's just three screws. I've been using this kayak for over a year, so who knows what we're gonna find under this plate. There's probably lots of grass and mud, but uh, we'll see. Okay, now that we got those screws removed, we can pick up this plate, and uh, that'll expose that uh, that cavity, that plate that we just uh, unscrewed from the other side of the kayak, uh, we'll come back to this later. If you're curious to see what this thing looked like after a year, not terrible, just a little grass that we could just easily remove, no mud or anything, so that's cool. Because we're mounting a side scan transducer, we're gonna remove these two screws. This plate will come out and we're going to install this scoop this scoop is where the uh, long side scan transducer is gonna come out of. Okay, so that plate came off. Now we're gonna replace it with the scoop. So that'll just come in right there. And we're gonna get those same screws that we just removed and just screw them back in. The next step is we're going to feed the transducer through this pocket. Sorry, let me try to just feed it in through here. And it should snug up on that scoot right there. So we're going to turn this over. I'm going to put something underneath, but you all get the idea. Inside your Hobie owner's uh, kit, you're gonna find these extension tabs, uh, and these are just gonna slide in like that, both sides. Okay, and that's what's gonna help kinda keep this guy in place. Now that we have the extension arms in place, we're going to get this um, stainless steel screw with the C-clamp, kinda run that through these two vertical posts and the extension arms. And on the opposite side, um, you'll find, an, you'll put the other C-clamp, and then we're gonna tighten that up with this uh, nylon, or this nut. So it's just kinda loosely tightened for now. I'll come back and, and really tighten it down in a bit. So to mount the front part, uh, you got these rubber washers, the stainless steel screw, and this nut. Go ahead and put these rubber washers on this front side here. Just right there. And then we're gonna mount this screw through the washers, through the transducer. All right, take two folks. So we got the screw, the two washers, and now we're gonna lock that in with the nut. So now we're ready to tighten everything up. Uh, you wanna make sure that this thing is snug on the bottom. Push these down, you know, so it's resting at the right height. And we're gonna get the 3 8 and a screwdriver and just tighten that up.
we got this all mounted up and you'll see how that's i mean that's pretty flush uh, but Hobie does recommend there's a little bit of play um, so they recommend that we zip tie um, the transducer to the plate put the zip tie through the hole sorry I might have gotten out frame for a second Back up. And just tighten that sucker up. So that'll just kind of, you know, make it so that it doesn't move at all. So obviously the transducer is sticking out. Uh, so to avoid uh, damaging your transducer, this plate will actually retract into the kayak. Uh, either if something hits it right here or if uh, you pull it up in the kayak and all we have to do to enable that is remove these screws Now that we removed those screws, now we have the retractable uh, functionality of the, of the Guardian transducer shield. Now that that's all mounted up, uh, we're gonna run this entire transducer cable through the transducer scupper. Entire thing. I guess we can just see if it fits like that. The other thing we need to do is we need to uh, untie this knot here that's, that has this cable and we're going to tie this cable to this string right here and that's what's going to allow us to retract and lock the Guardian system while we're in the cockpit of the kayak. Now we're just going to get this string and we're going to tie two overhand knots. that it rests in between these two bars right here. Now we're ready to flip this sucker over and screw them in. Okay, so now that's mounted. mounted. You can see how that will retract. Got the kayak flipped over, rested on some coolers for right now. Uh, you can see that the transducer cable is coming through the transducer scupper. We have the line uh, tied to our guardian system. Uh, so we're gonna kind of maybe just loosely screw in this plate just to kind of hold everything together. Test out, see if the guardians work. this sucker out. Uh, now we're gonna get this transducer cable. We're gonna uh, take this three-way uh, pl Hobie plug out and run the transducer cable through there. Notice it's got a gasket on there. So I'm gonna open up the hatch and we're gonna run the transducer cable here uh -oh. so 
we're going to take off this rubber piece here. I've never done this, so <laughs> we take that out. And then basically we have to go through all of these and find the one that's the right diameter for this wire so that it's uh, tight there. We were able to find the, the piece that fit the cable a little bit. Uh, we ran the transducer cable through there and it's in the kayak. Uh, the next step is we're going to run it into this one, this three-way plug. Uh, and I'm gonna leave about 10 inches and the remainder, I'm gonna coil that up. want to leave about 10 inches uh, for the cable so we'll leave about that much the rest I'm gonna coil up through this three-way plug I use this plug that had uh, allowed you for two wires so I have both the power and the transducer cable there so next step is the power so we're getting ready to attach our battery so I attach the Hobie battery holder to the sail mast we got a fuse here just gonna get this ready before we make all of our connections. And this is important to, to protect the fish finder, you know, so it doesn't get any kind of power issues. So just to kind of walk you through, this is the power cable coming from the fish finder, our fuse, so red to red there. And then this is the power cable going to the battery, red to red, and then the black to this cable right there. I'm gonna put the head shrink through this one first before we start and then we'll come back to it other heat shrink we're going to put that uh, with our battery cable again just kind of move it back We got the Nakwa 10 amp battery there, and then we got our fuse and everything tied up to the mast. All we gotta do is just connect it here, and we're ready to go. It's alive. <laughs>